Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly love reading. This is love predictions for the month of October 2019. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. If you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. So for your reading, I'm using the Halloween Tarot, the Romance Angels Oracle Cards and the Lovers Oracle. So let's get started by looking at the Halloween Tarot. What are your love predictions for the month of October 2019? You have the Queen of Wands. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Swords. The Empress. So to clarify the Queen of Wands, we have Strength and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Clarifying the Seven of Swords in reverse, we have the Lovers and the Eight of Wands. Clarifying the Page of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Queen, sorry, the King of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the Eight of Swords, we have the Magician and clarifying the Empress. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so let me tune into the energies of the cards for a moment. Okay, so I feel someone is coming towards you in the month of October with an offering but it may be someone who is more after good times rather than a full-on commitment because there's a lot of intense energies here. There is like the heartbreak card as well. Some of you, you have the strength though to say no, to create healthy boundaries and not allow this person to pull the wool over your eyes. I feel like you're not willing to give this person a chance because I feel like you've already given them a chance or you can just see straight through them. This person might be a charmer. They might be someone who um, promises a lot of things but they don't follow through with their promises. Someone that's trying to seduce you but you have this strength and whatever they're telling you, you're like, you're like examining what they're saying you're seeing straight through it and I feel like you're putting them in their place they may be promising that they want to have this harmonious connection with you this harmonious relationship they may be saying that they want a commitment they want to build this commitment with you um but you're just not seeing them in that light. Because there's the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Lovers and the Eight of Wands. So this person's coming in really quickly. But when I see this Lovers card, it shows Dracula coming into the woman's bedroom at night. So this could be someone who's trying to seduce you um, and have like sexual encounters with you, but just like Dracula, when it's the dawn, when it's the morning, you know, in the daylight, they vanish. They're nowhere to be seen. So yeah, eight of wands, rapid moving energy, but they're trying to get away with something without being caught. So this could be like affairs going on as well, like secret rendezvous. 
and they're trying to just get away with something. This could be the need to be honest with yourself because it can mean self-deception in the reverse position. Um, yeah, I feel this person is saying a lot of things, but you need to be wary. You need to, you know, look at their actions rather than what they're just saying. So the page of pentacles in reverse, whatever they're offering to you, I feel like you are looking at it, but in the reverse position, you're not like seriously considering it. You may be flattered in a way by this person. This person may be someone who seduces like a lot of people. They may be someone that's very physically attractive. Um, so in a sense, you're kind of flattered a little bit, but you're saying no. This king of swords in reverse. They're not speaking the truth to you. They've got walls and boundaries up is what I'm feeling. This is why they're this shady kind of character trying to get away with things. They're basically wearing a mask. They're not being their true self. They do have low self-esteem, but I feel like on the surface, they're making out that they're confident, but really it's just like arrogance. They're trying to make out they're confident. Um, but really, you know, they're looking to seduce a lot of people to try and boost their ego kind of thing because they're not happy within themselves. They don't feel um, like they're worthy deep down. So they kind of, I feel this is someone who rejects people and sort of runs away from them before they get rejected, before they open their heart. Someone who's very closed off. And then there's the Eight of Swords clarified by the Magician. So Eight of Swords, I'm actually seeing this as, as you're actively like wrapping yourself in these bandages. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself because at one point you may have been seduced by this person even though deep down you always knew that they weren't good for you and that they were toxic. So... I feel like you're purposely trying to look the other way um, and ignore this person and, you know, wrap yourself up to protect yourself because they're this magician and I feel this is like in a negative way. They're... You know, there's all these things going on. I feel like they, they're different... They're a different person with different people. You know, they, they're manipulative. Like they look to individuals and see what is gonna, what does this person want and how can I manipulate them and make out I'm gonna give them what they want so I can get what I want. This is like smoke in mirrors. This is illusions, um, trying to trick you. A trickster is what I'm feeling. The Empress. I feel like you're a strong woman. You have deep intuition. You know, you could be a man watching this, so take whatever resonates. But I know that most people watching will be women. Um, so that's why I'm just saying that for ease. I feel you're a strong person. You do know your worth. You've been through a lot of pain already. I feel it could be this person who's caused you pain in the past, but now you're wiser, or this could be pain you've just experienced in similar situations in the past when you were a little bit naive and you believed um, what people were telling you when they were trying to manipulate you to get what they wanted. But now you are seeing right through that. You know your worth. Um, you know that you deserve the best. So let's clarify with three Romance Angels Oracle cards. Honeymoon. Oops. Passion. 
separation. Okay, so yeah, you may have experienced a honeymoon period with this person. And the honeymoon is like when you don't really know someone too well, um, but you're having good times together, really enjoying each other's company. There's a lot of passion. Um, there could have been like an intense magnetic attraction, sexual attraction. Um, but I do feel like you are heartbroken by this person. There was a separation, but there needs to be a separation. Um, because I feel this person isn't the right person for you. It's likely mostly about learning lessons from this situation. Learning to trust your intuition and not ignore the red flags. In the past, you may have been turning a blind eye to red flags and allowing someone to trick you. Um, but now you're not doing that. Or something, you may still be doing that, but you need to be honest with yourself is what I'm feeling. And when you truly learn from this situation, then you, know, you can end that pattern in your life and in your relationships and love yourself more. And then you'll be this higher vibration. You will know your worth. So then you will attract someone who's a mirror of that vibration, who's going to mirror back to you your self-love and love you in the way that you truly deserve. So let's finish off with a lover's oracle card. We have this one here, reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out from the be for the best. So yeah, time of time. Time apart is needed for reflection. Being honest with yourself. Trust that you will receive love. A lot of people, I feel, are holding on to the wrong person because they're afraid of being alone. But that's just closing doors of other opportunities. That's just staying in the same kind of vibration. You know, you don't want to stay in the dark about this pattern because then it will just keep repeating either with the same person or with other people. There's a need to really look at your heartbreak. You know, a lot of the time we subconsciously are attracted to people who are similar to our parents in terms of emotional unavailability or if you experienced abuse of any kind, you may be subconsciously drawn to a romantic partner that's going to treat you in the same way. And often we look to this person to turn around and commit to us and love us and be there for us in all the ways um, where we felt we weren't loved in our past. Um, but because deep down we feel unlovable and therefore that's why we're looking outside of ourselves for someone else to validate us and show us and prove to us that we're lovable. Um, that inner like wounds manifest as a reflection back to us and it um, triggers them up within us. And that's part of the soul contract. So we can eventually realize you know often after this cycle repeating several times with several people we can eventually realize that i deserve better i do deserve love because often um, in this situation we can give and give and give and give um and it's not reciprocated and then we we can look back with hindsight and just realize how much of a giving person we were and then finally we can realize that we do deserve um, that amount of time, dedication and commitment from another on, in, on equal measures. Um, and then that's how we learn the lesson. Often these difficult situations, um, experiences happen to prepare us to raise our vibration in order to meet the soulmate or the twin flame who is truly right for us. So I really hope this reading has been helpful and that it's resonated with you. And if it has, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release more readings. And please like and share and leave your comments below. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye.